Okay, my name is Brian Scott. I'm a development manager with Glasgow Disability Alliance. Today's event is a speaking up and speaking out workshop. It's a workshop for uh, our members who are disabled people uh, and it's designed to increase their confidence and skills and being able to express their points of view, to speak out and, if appropriate, to represent GDA at different forums that we are involved in. My name is Jo Symes and I'm here because I found out through Scope that the Glasgow Disability Alliance had these um, workshops and, and classes and I applied for some of them and got on them. I think well, particularly this uh, course we're doing today, I mean this uh, workshop, um, telling you how to sort of present yourself and how to speak and speak up about things can be very helpful if you either want to be a spokesman for a particular group in the disability or support somebody who's doing the same thing. My name is Stephen Andrew. Uh, I'm, I've, I've been a member of the, the Glasgow Disability Alliance for about five years now. Uh, I'm here to speak to the, the actual members that are, that are here just to tell them a bit about, about my experiences of being involved with the GDA for the last five years. I'm, 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 I'm Andrew McIntyre. And I come here to, to get more confidence and to have more confidence in, in committee skills for a centre's kinds committee. My name is Debbie, and I'm here um, to learn more about speaking up for yourself and things like that. Because sometimes I do find it quite difficult. Um, but since I started GDA, um, I've gained a lot of confidence and. Um, I've actually applied for college to do a radio course, um, which is something I've wanted to do for as long as I can remember, but I've never felt confident enough to do it. First thing you've noticed, and some of you already have been, uh, had your moment of glory, we've got Joe and his colleague here who are filming this afternoon. As I said this morning, if anybody's got an issue with being filmed, doesn't want to be filmed, that's not a problem at all. Just give us a shout and let us know, and that's not a problem. Joe's here to film it. Uh, this is linked to a conference that took place earlier this week, uh, which is called Sharing Our Strengths, Stretching Our Vision. And it was a national co-production conference. And we were invited to participate in the conference. Uh, and Marion and I had, had a look at it because we are quite often in GDA uh, cited as a good example of co-production and practice. A lot of what we do is, is good evidence of co-production. But what we thought was, rather than going all the way through to Edinburgh for the conference and doing a workshop there, what would be better was to host a study visit. So what we offered was the opportunity for people to come along today and see a workshop in action. So we've been joined by our guests here. You'll see a few people who will get a chance to introduce themselves today who were at the conference or who are keen to find out a bit more about what GDA does just to share what we've been doing so far this morning, what activities and things we've been doing. And do you want to go first? This morning we uh, had like a worksheet um, to start off. Um, we had the human bingo challenge. What we had to go around everybody asking them questions. If they had a pet, bacon, been to USA, part of a gym and can swim in uh, the... Last person to finish shouted bingo. And what I want you to do is to vote on what you think for you are the most important issues for you as a disabled person, okay, at the moment. Now you're going to be given, I think it's six, sorry, eight, eight, eight votes. Oh my goodness. You're going to be given eight votes and it's up to you how you use those eight votes. So for example, you can use all of them in one heading. So for you, if the most important thing for you is housing, if you think housing is the most important issue, you could put all eight of your votes against housing. Or if you thought it was welfare reform was the most important thing, you could put five, six, seven, eight. You can use as many as you want under one heading, or you can spread them out across all the different headings. The next highest one was education and lifelong learning. Uh, anybody who voted for that want to say why they voted for that? Who People who thought that was important? Yeah. Because people with jobs and in like the work, normal working environments have get usually, I, I can't say everyone has because it's not true, but for the majority, most people think disabled people just want to sit there and be on benefits, when in fact it's just because that they're not being given equal opportunities to prove that they've got the ability to do that. 
Uh, I feel as well that the attitudes that can come across within the education system can be appalling at times and no matter what the access that's adapted, um, attitudes can be more problematic than actually using the facilities themselves when they are fixed. I'm Bernadette Riley and I'm with Remshire Council Social Work. The purpose of my study visit today was just to see co-production and its kind of actual forum of how people kind of get together and people are listened to it, particularly the kind of workshop today which was about speaking up and speaking out. I was interested to see how people kind of came together and done that. Pieces of learning I'll take is listen to people um, and again it's about how you engage with people as well. There's different ways and different ways to do it and I was interested today in seeing how people kind of were able to speak up and speak out. My name is Sophie Flemick. I'm uh, working for the University of Edinburgh Business School um, together with the European Union on a project that's called Learning Innovation um, in Public Service Environments. I think co-production is um, politically used as if it's a new invention but at the end of the day co-production has been going on for well ever since services have been provided it's automatic and I think we should instead of saying we need production we need to say what's out there how does it work what what are the drivers and what are the barriers and how can we help people to actually get it done efficiently so that's what we're trying to do Hi, my name is John Duncanson I'm with Crossreach who support adults with learning disabilities just when they come and pick up any ideas or suggestions or actually see if there's any way could maybe form a better working partnership with GDA. Some people I know already use the GDA and have been involved in it, but I've really been impressed with some of the things that you have done today in the workshops. been more, more impressed with the respect that everybody shows towards each other when they're speaking. You can hear a pin drop when somebody speaks. And it's, a really, it's a, been a really good event for me so far.